Uh, good morning to all of you. This video is for uh, jurisprudence students. Friends, we are going to discuss the questions in uh, question paper number 2016, part C of 2016. Let us quickly get through question number 15. The brief facts of the case are like this. The government wants to acquire land for the public purpose. Definitely, local people opposed the same. What for? They alleged that or they argued that Land is their source for their livelihood. So without land, they cannot survive. So they could not survive if they leave that land, decide. So whether the government can acquire the land for the public purpose or not. Please remember. So basically we know <coughs> the government can acquire land. Definitely government, the entire land is the name of the government only. So acquisition process, definitely the government can acquire land for the developmental purpose and it is always a contentious issue. People say, government says it is for the development of the state, but people say it is for our survival. How can we survive if we lose our land? Please remember, <coughs> normally, what aggravates the problem is, please remember, normally the government acting as a a taker of the land and transfer it to alternate uses, SEZs. So they take the land and they use it to big, big companies who mortgage the same and no industry is coming up. This is the main problem. This is the practical problem, right? Please remember. And here, actually, whenever this problem comes, uh, we have to mention the correct provision that is act. It is, the act is right to fair compensation and transparency in the land acquisition rehabilitation and resettlement act 2013 please remember the entire act previously when we were students we used to call it as a land acquisition act but during the two year 2013 the act has been renamed like this very big name very big name so this act 2013 lays down the procedure for granting compensation to the affected persons in India. You may know it, holding Gram Sabha, all these things. So please remember, what for the government uh, uses the, acquires the land, acquisition. The government acquisition, you acquire the land for it uh, normally, number one, own use, number one, to hold and control it uh, particularly for uh, public sector undertaking, for SEZ something, right? So please remember, even the government can take private land also for public purpose only when it gives fair compensation. Please remember, what is the public purpose? Please remember, definitely it should be for stop a setting up economic activity, setting up industry, setting up a factory, setting up a special economic zone like that. So please remember, in this connection you have to remember the famous uh, uh, legal concepts, legal maxims, salis populi suprema lex. That means interest and kind of the whole community is always superior. No doubt, some people may lose their lands, but the interest of the public in general, it is more important. And uh, necessita public major estequam private. So public interest is greater than private interest and claim of a particular group of individuals. Therefore, please remember, the government can acquire land for public purpose because as students, you have to write this only. So case laws, Suram Pratap Reddy and others versus the collector Rangaredi district 2008. So in this case, the Supreme Court held that public purpose includes any purpose where even a fraction of community is interested. So not only major community at large, not even though certain people or tribal people are there, for their interest, they can do something. So please, exclusive economic zone, special economic zone, then mines, then shopping malls, then dams, they are also called as, they are, their land can be acquired for them for public purpose. Second example, R.L. Arora, R.L. Arora versus State of Uttar Pradesh 1964. So please remember, here it is a negative example. In this case, the Supreme Court held that the government, government could not justify acquiring land for their machinery manufacturing as public purpose. So 
just like ordnance factory or machinery manufacturing property it cannot be for public purpose is it not is a negative example so conclusion so please remember a public purpose should have its objective to promote public health safety morals general welfare then prosperity and contentment of all the in uh, the inhabitants uh, without a given political okay no doubt political decision may be otherwise but please remember if the interest of the public is there general public purpose is there definitely government can acquire land this is the conclusion you can draw now we'll switch on to question number 16 so please remember <coughs> there was internal disturbance maybe in a factory uh due to shock strikes and lockouts so in this institution this industry or factory lot of uh, internal disturbances are there every time they are going uh, for strike and lockout so therefore the management retrenched the employees without any proper reason retrenchment means cutting short the number suppose 200 employees are there retrenchment they will keep only 100 employees so please remember these people went to the tribunal even though they went to the tribunal it has included the employees right they did not take any action now the employees approached you as an advocate what are you going to do this is a question put forth in question number 16 please remember section 2 within bracket q p q q of industrial disputes act says that what is strike strike means cessation of work or stoppage of work by a body of employees so cessation or stoppage of work by a body of employees that is not to continue work they don't want to continue the work so please remember for this here since we discussed the strikes and lockouts i am discussing what is a strike so strike means a cessation of duty by a group of employees not to do work according to section 2 q that is the definition and according to section 22 class 1 normally the people who want to go on strike they have to give notice six weeks notice in advance after the after giving notice even for the first 14 days they should not go on strike so this was clearly stated that uh, so minor men uh, okay minor union m i n e r so mining and water minor union versus kudremuk uh, or industry so since they have immediately gone on strike this strike was declared as illegal as per section 22 the conditions 24 the factory can declare uh, the government can declare the strike as illegal according to section 24 of the industrial disputes act now lockout what is this lockout section 24 clause 3 says lockout means temporary shutdown of the factory by the employer due to internal disturbances when the people are what they want to go on strike when the two unions are there when they are in logger heads with each other so unable to bear this uh, the guy the factory management can go on uh, lockout so please remember just like the supreme court uh, stated that just like strike is a weapon in the arm of in the arms of the workers uh, lockout is another weapon available to the employer so please remember this should be done only after giving a notice to the employees suddenly they cannot declare that they are going for a lockout this was stated in the case of general labor union within brackets red flag versus bv chauhan bv chauhan and others 1984 this is lockout then what is the retrenchment this is more important section 2 within bracket wo wo of the industrial disputes act 1947 it says please remember discharge of some of the labor or discharge of the surplus labor we can say surplus labor extra labor by the employer due to inevitable reasons so the reason should be inevitable tappane parisithalo including rationalization so the prop the product is only 100 tons and then cheyalante oka 20 mandi sayipothar but laborers 40 members unnar then when the product is not there so rationalization a 40 mandi ni 20 mandi chesthe saripothe that is what's called retrenchment or uh, installation of new labor saving machinery for example in cherala iltd company lo 6000 workers uh, used to work there but లీఫ్ థ్రెషింగ్ మెషిన్ అని పెద్ద మెషిన్ కొన్ని కోట్ల విలువగా తీసుకొచ్చి పెట్టారు అది వెయ్యి మంది చేసే పని చేస్తుంది సో ఆరు వేల మందిలో వెయ్యి మందిని తీసి అతలు పడేశారు 
then you can be retrenchment because that machine will work for thousand work laborers is a funny for commission just so what is the use of the labor there definitely so cavity whenever a new labor saving machinery is installed yes they can go for retrenchment so in this correction the case law sbi versus sundaramani so the supreme court adopted liberal meaning of the retrenchment so which is for any reason whatsoever ikkada nenu em cheppano edana mission kotta mission ochina leda edana rationalization property intlo manaku product takkuvana ilaadu dantlo cheyochuna annu kaani sbi case lo for whatever reason for whatsoever edana cause kuda cheppo this is what is called saving clause right please remember so retrenchment aithe according to chapter 5a of the industrial disputes act notice of 30 days he of the establishment should be given to the employees sir. so if more than 50 employees are so retrenchment cheyalante 30 days notice ivali then section 25g says procedure of retrenchment the employee should be given 3 months notice ikkade mala chudandi akkade 30 days lo cheppamannadu ikkada 3 employee prathi employee ki 3 months mundhe notice ivali so then prior permission of the state government should also be taken రిట్రెన్స్మెంట్ సడన్ గా చేయడానికి లేదు సో కేసు రాజ భువనేశ్వర్ కుమార్ ద్వివేది వర్సెస్ మిస్టర్స్ హిండాల్కో ఇండస్ట్రీస్ లిమిటెడ్ టూ థౌసండ్ ఫోర్టీన్ ఇట్ హాస్ ఆల్సో క్లియర్లీ స్టేటెడ్ దట్ ప్లీజ్ రిమెంబర్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఎ వైలేషన్ ఆఫ్ ద ఫండమెంటల్ రైట్ ఆఫ్ ది వర్కర్స్ విచ్ ది మేనేజ్మెంట్ డిడ్ నాట్ గివ్ నోటీస్ విత్ ఇన్ థర్టీ డేస్ సో దేర్ ఫోర్ దే కెన్ అప్రోచ్ ది కోర్ట్ ఆఫ్ లా and are 226 before the constitution before the high court so retrenchment can be done only after following the due procedure another case yes palani versus indian bank and other 1979 in this case the labor court ordered reinstatement but supreme court stated that when it is retrench retrenchment that you cannot order for reinstatement because lot of problems are there He is not able to, this state bank of india is already having surplus employees therefore they retrenched him what is that he can do so likewise so please remember the manage just like strike is the weapon for the employees the management have got every power of retrenchment when there are lockouts or layoffs or uh, all these problems by the workers definitely the management has got authority but only thing is they have to follow the due procedure so to conclude the management has got the authority under section 25 of the industrial disputes act to go for lay off or retrenchment you have to write like this conclusion basing on the above case laws right two cases are discussed already 13 minutes are over we will uh, discuss the rest of the cases in the next video for that time bye bye thank you very much